just taking a step back, uh, I mean, obviously, people who watch this content want to get into auditing and they're into uh, grinding out contests and that kind of stuff. Do you think, um, as uh, an industry, the auditing spaces are getting a bit too crowded and perhaps people should consider things like hackathons and becoming a dev instead? Yes, quit now. No, no I'm just kidding. But uh, I mean, that's what I will. That's what I will say publicly. Is just quit. Uh, give us more room. But uh, the reality is uh, that uh, um, I feel like the last three months. So first of all, I uh, I had this thinking nine months ago, because the way you want to look at this entire space is you want to look at funding, as in finding of new projects, because new projects will eventually build a product and they need to be audited. And so if you're thinking about what's happening now and you're not looking at what happened nine months ago you basically should not have the conversation. You probably should look at the industry you're in because you're like a leaf in the wind. But what, what's happening is a kind of a natural consequence of the fact that there's a little less funding. And I believe uh, the nine months ago, it was like the worst instance of find funding in like the last 10 years for venture capital, for crypto, etc. And so it's a very natural that you have a contraction at that level. And so uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to say because I feel like this, is, this gets uh, too opinionated, but it also gets uh, to a little too alpha. What I would say is go and decide for yourself in terms of the usage of the platform and in terms of the projects. Do you still see projects building? Are those projects going to do audits? If yes or no, then that's your answer. Are there new projects coming in and do they need audits? Because if you believe that the current situation, uh, which, I, which I believe is, is extremely sustainable and, and fair, so if you, be, if you believe that the situation is going to get worse, then you should consider alternative options. But if you believe that this is almost as close to the worst that it can get, where you have, you know, 10 projects that survived, that raised tens of millions of dollars, and those people still need security, then obviously it's going to be a, a fight to maintain that business. We, should, we will all be fighting to keep the business and retain it. But at the same time, if you have a more optimistic approach, then you're basically looking at this as a uh, natural consequence. And then at the same time, we've had literally uh, two days ago, a bunch of tweets about, you know, the market is over. And now we have like five different contests on Code Arena. So I feel like you, you don't want to have an opinion uh, until maybe six months from now. And then you also want to uh, kind of make your own determination as to whether the space will bounce back from here or if there's more downside. Mm. And would you like to share your opinion on what you think is going to happen? Yeah, I guess uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'm not going to give you, I mean, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to give you the, 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 the things I watched was like, if you look at DeFi Llama, that's what I watch. I watch DeFi Llama and I watch the TVL basically die. And uh, I watched the price of all projects go to a 10th. And then I watched the TVL of DeFi Llama go down by a third. So it still went down, or actually two thirds. So it still went down uh, by a lot, but at the same time, it didn't go up, down as much. Then I look at the gas prices. Do we have one GUI gas prices? Does nobody want to use Ethereum? Of course, people want to use Ethereum. What, what are the gas prices on, uh, uh, on uh, l shoes? Did you see all the stuff pop up? Did you see the millions of dollars being made on stuff like Frentech? Because to me, the, 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 there is still a lot of people using it and those people never live, are not going to live. And then there's all these projects that are not going to live that raised hundreds of millions of dollars in the previous bull market. And so I would call this uh, the, like, uh, I'm, I can't say economically this is going to be the bottom because of some weird stuff that happens when uh, the Fed capitulates. So there's always a chance that we go lower, but on a technical level, the projects that are building are here and I don't see them uh, closing uh, for, for any particular reason. So I would, I'm not as uh, pessimistic there. Uh, and I, uh, I would uh, almost question those that are and tell them that uh, um, if, if, you, if, you, like if you don't believe this is gonna work, you probably uh, shouldn't be here, but it's because you really don't have the conviction. You're probably not even using the products, which I think is a shame. Um, something I always tell my friends, because none of my friends use crypto, because it's impossible even to explain to them like, 
Okay, you're gonna go on Coinbase on mainnet and then send your money on Polygon and then bridge to Metis and then you're gonna LP and you're gonna farm the token and you're gonna receive the bribes. And they're like, bro, just, you know, just do it for me. And I'm like, no bro, it's non custodial. I can't do it for you, you have to do it. And so it's basically impossible. But like, if you still use this stuff and you understand it, then you, you know that people are using it and you know that people need, uh, uh, need this type of assistance, this type of consultation. There is always the underlying fear of being replaced by, you know, by Foundry++ that is gonna find 80% of all our findings. That's uh, something that is gonna happen. But I feel like once you've uh, kind of switched enough, I, uh, I literally already have the backup plan, at least for me. So I'm, I'm confident, like, uh, I'll tell you what the backup plan is. It's hilarious. Yeah, go ahead. I was watching this uh, YouTube video of the McDonald's POV, like people working at McDonald's. And I know it sounds odd, but like, it's actually really engaging. Like you have people making fries. There's the beep of the fries. You have to lift it up. You have the system. It's like, it's actually a remarkably engaging experience to watch it. And I thought, okay, what if we just made a video game where you actually have to work at McDonald's? <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that's going to be the most popular gaming city ever. You know, it's like the it's so over video game. So I already have the backup plan and uh, uh, I'm not worried because I'm, uh, I'm kind of following my passion as, as well. So there's, there, the money is important. The money is like the score. But at the same time, the engagement that you get uh, is, is more than just the money. And so it, it, uh, mm. I feel like there's still a lot of engagement here. There's still a lot of uh, hacks that happen all the time. So a lot of really dumb mistakes that we're doing. So there's, there's a lot of people that still need a lot of help. So I, I don't see mm. it uh, getting worse uh, anytime soon. Nice. So you have a pretty bullish outlook uh, moving forward and you have a backup plan. So you're all set. 